Thank you so very much for shaping me into the leader that I am today. It is much appreciated, and I hope that you all have a great time in retirement. Thank you guys so, so much for always going above and beyond no matter what you do, and we're gonna miss you. Thank you for motivating me. Thank you for showing me care. Thank you for making me smile. Thank you for pushing me to be a better person. Thank you for making me a better student. Thank you for being understanding. Thank you for making me a better person. Thank you for making school fun. Please stand for the National Anthem presented by Chaparral High School 10th grade student Aria Gunn under the direction of Chaparral High School music teacher, Mr. Rob Hodo. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hear? At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming In the rocket's red That our flag was still there I'll say to us that star-spangled banner yet wave Or the Good evening. My name is Frank Arce, and I am proud to be the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources Development for the Temecula Valley Unified School District. It is my honor this evening to welcome you all to the Temecula Valley Unified School District's fifth annual Ringing In Retirement Recognition Ceremony. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome and thanks to all of the family, friends, and colleagues who have tuned in this evening to celebrate and recognize this year's retirees. I'd like to share how excited I am to be a part of this, but I want to highlight that it has taken the work of a lot of people to make this virtual event happen. I would like to acknowledge our recognition committee members for all their support in making this event possible. Governing Board Clerk Sandy Hinkson, CSEA Chapter 538 President Andrew Enriquez, TVEA President Jeff Kingsburg, Temecula Valley PTA President Becca Marks Anderson, Assistant to the Superintendent Sue O'Connell, Director of Human Resources Development Tiffany Martinez, also Director of Human Resources Development Joe Mueller, HRD Administrative Assistants Nancy Mireles and Kathy Sims, Public Information Officer Laura Boss. Last but not least, a huge thank you to Assistant Director of Human Resources Development, Dr. Megan Carthen Jackson for coordinating with JDS Video and Media Productions and our photographer, Alex and Jaina Photography. Tonight, we are pleased to have assembled a distinguished lineup of speakers, including Governing Board President, Ms. Barbara Broach, Superintendent, Dr. Jody McClay, CSEA Chapter 538 President, Mr. Andrew Enriquez, TVA President, Mr. Jeff Kingsburg, and our keynote speaker, 
Susan Nelson graduating senior, Ms. Sadie Trowbridge. Although the circumstances brought about by this pandemic did not allow for an in-person celebration, we want all of you to know that we have the highest regard for our retirees and all of their commitment and dedication to our students and our district. We want you, our retirees, to know that we appreciate you so much and we value the work that you've done. This evening, we have the opportunity to recognize and honor 87 certificated and classified retirees from the Temecula Valley Unified School District. All of you honored today made a decision to work in the field of education, and the field of education is unlike any other job. In education, we get a chance to see the impact we make on students on a daily basis. Some of you made a difference in students' lives with a smile while you transported them, or a greeting while you helped feed them. Some of you made a difference by providing instruction in ways that made learning come to life or encourage them as you supported their learning needs. Others made a difference by being someone kids could talk to while you supervised them or helped keep their campus clean. As the old proverb states, it takes a village to raise a child. And all of you have been a part of this great village in education, a village that has looked out for each other and has made every student matter. You have been a part of something special. You should be very proud of yourselves and you should know that you have made a difference. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Temecula Valley Unified School District Governing Board President, Mrs. Barbara Broach, who will be sharing a few comments in honor of our retirees. Good afternoon. My name is Barbara Broch and I am the president of your Temecula Valley Unified School District Governing Board. I have the honor of thanking you tonight for your incredible dedication to our children. Working in the field of education is impactful to every student you touch. Each year you pour everything you have into a child that has been given to you for one year. As parents, we share our children with you as you teach them, feed them, and love them. Your work is selfless, and I am sure exhausting, as you are patient and kind while ens ensuring that knowledge is imparted at every level. It is not forgotten that you have your own families that you will see at the end of the day to continue with the nurturing you have provided. This evening, we honor you for your tireless dedication over the course of many years. You have impacted countless children, their families, and your colleagues. All of those days of alarm clocks going off at 6 a.m., grading papers, and planning lessons into the wee hours of the night, and weekend trips to the grocery store and teacher supply store to supplement your classroom needs are coming to an end. The time has come that all of the years of your hard work and dedication to your job have led you to your next chapter. Please know we will not forget your dedication and sacrifices. Your students will not forget you. They will tell their children and their grandchildren of their first grade teacher who taught them to read, their bus driver, their aide who helped them understand math, the nurse who cared for them while they were sick, and so many more. For other children, they will look back and remember that you fed them, provided for them, and listened to them when they felt alone. Each of you has a legacy that will live on for generations to come. In the words of Marianne Wright Edelman, education is for improving the lives of others and leaving your community and world better than you found it. You have each accomplished this. You have improved the lives of thousands and left our community and world better than you found it. For that, we honor and thank you. Hey staff, I just wanna say thanks for everything you've done for us. I'm really sad you guys are leaving, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and I just want to make this video to show my dedication for you. But yeah, see ya. Have a good retirement. Thank you so much to for all the stuff that you've done for us. Everyone really appreciates you and all of your hard work. We're all going to miss you a lot, but thank you again so many times. I wanted to thank you so much, and we're all really sad that you're retiring, but we're so happy you were able to be in our lives, and we wanted to say thank you so much. Thank you, teachers, for helping us learning through reading to math to science. 
Thank you for motivating me. Thank you, Mr. Riley, for everything you've done for me. Just thank you so much. And everybody appreciates you. You're such a good teacher. Thank you so much. Wow, like, the books that you always send me, like, Ribsy, Henry, and Ribsy, and Dixie, Frindle, all those books are extremely good. Thank you, and I appreciate you. Thank you, Miss Kiefer, for everything you've done. You're an amazing teacher. I'm sure all the students love you. You're amazing. And I'm just happy that you, in, I hope you enjoyed here at Isabel Barnett. Everyone here appreciates you, so. Thank you for learning fun. Thank you for all that you've done for our school and our district. Thank you for making assignments fun. Thank you for making learning fun. Thank you for making assignments fun. For making learning fun and creative. For being nice. Making me smile. Thank you so much for everything you do and thank you for making learning fun. Thank you to all of the retiring teachers and staff members at ARES. We appreciate you. You've done so much for our school. Thank you to, for contributing to our school and making it a better place. Best of luck in your new adventure. And now for a special message from CSEA Chapter 538 President Andrew Enriquez and TVEA President Jeff Kingsburg. Hello Temecula Valley Unified Retirees. I hope this message finds you well and in good spirits. What can I say? You made it. You are on the next leg of your journey, retirement. No more school bells, no more early morning pre-trips, getting up at dawn, cutting grass, or repairing one of our roofs. You are free to do what you like, when you like, and how you like. As you move on from Temecula Valley, know that you have enriched so many lives, both students and staff. So with tears in our eyes and love in our hearts, CSEA says farewell to the retirees of 2021. On behalf of our 12 member executive board and more than 1300 teacher and specialist members, TVA wishes you a very sincere congratulations of your pending status. TVUSD retiree, Whatever your specific roles have been for TVUSD, you have directly or indirectly been a proven leader of student success. This year's retirees deserve special recognition for the resiliency and adaptability they have demonstrated in ensuring the opportunity of public education for all has continued throughout the 2020-2021 school year. As you close the book on this chapter of your life, you will begin others. I trust your purpose-driven work for TVUSD has resulted in many rewards and that you will continue to find alternative ways to make a difference. You will all take various paths in retirement, yet perhaps remembering this breakdown of the letters in the word retire will provide you a course to a satisfying post-career. R equals relax, E equals entertain, T equals travel, I equals indulge, R equals read, and most importantly, E equals enjoy. Congratulations once again on behalf of the Temecula Valley Educators Association. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Temecula Valley Unified School District Superintendent, Dr. Jody McClay. Hi, I am honored and excited to be here to speak with you tonight about your retirement. I want to start by congratulating you on reaching this milestone. You have earned and deserved the recognition that goes with retirement. But most importantly, I think at this point in time, I want to share that I know that this is not the type of retirement you probably envisioned. You may have thought that you wanted to kind of sail out into the sunset quietly, or maybe you wanted to end your career with a huge party. We all know that those opportunities to celebrate with our friends and our colleagues, share our goodbyes, and just reminisce about the years that we have spent doing our craft are just not possible yet. For that, I am deeply sorry, as you each deserve immense fanfare, the marching bands and all. I do want to share some words of optimism, though. 
I've been a part of this community for 24 years and I've had the opportunity to see a lot of people who have already retired. Every one of them has told me without exception how much they love retirement, how fulfilling their lives are, how they get to do the things that they didn't get to do during their professional careers. So whether you plan on traveling, spending time with your grandchildren, or simply spending time relaxing and doing the things that you love, retirement is an exciting time, especially after this year. And I hope that you enter into it with the enthusiasm and the expectation of something special because you deserve it and you have earned it. I'll be back at the end of this event to thank you one more time. But first, each year during this celebration, we have a tradition of honoring our retirees by highlighting current TVUSD students and alumni. This year's guest speaker is a member of the graduating class of 2021 from Temecula Advantage Virtual Academy on the campus of Susan H. Nelson High School. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming a very talented and inspirational young adult, Miss Sadie Trowbridge. Hello, I am Sadie Trowbridge. I'm a senior from the class of 2021, graduating from the Temecula Advantage Virtual Program. Thank you to our superintendent, Dr. McClay, for giving me the opportunity to speak and give a final farewell to those retiring from our district as they embark on a new life journey. I'm truly honored that I get to share my story and experience in the Temecula Valley School District with you all today. I started in the TVUSD district at the beginning of my eighth grade year after my family relocated from the Seattle area in the summer of 2016 due to my brother's health. When I became part of the Bella Vista school community, I made friends fast despite my worries of starting in a new school. I had amazing teachers that really helped me to adjust. Being the new kid wasn't something that I had experienced before. While I was only at Bella Vista for one year, it was just the experience I needed to prepare me for high school. Making good friends that would be joining me at Chaparral High School made that transition less stressful. At Chaparral, I met even more new friends and inspiring teachers that made the transition to high school a lot easier. My freshman and sophomore year were filled with fun, friends, and new experiences. But something changed for me as I was preparing to start my junior year of high school. From the very first day, I struggled to adjust to a new school year. I couldn't shake the feeling that something in my life wasn't working for me. I came to the realization that my mental health was at an all-time low, and even thinking of school made me panic and filled me with dread. Those feelings just made it that much harder to get out of bed in the morning. I had lost my motivation for school and learning in general. I was usually a student that looked forward to seeing my friends and teachers every day, so I knew that something was different when I couldn't even find the motivation to push myself to go to school every day. I knew that I needed to make my mental health a top priority. I went to my parents to let them know that I needed to make a change because of the low state of my mental health. I wanted to find a different way to learn. My counselor at Chaparral and a few friends informed me about the Temecula Advantage Virtual School Program at Susan H. Nelson. I researched the program and felt that what TABS had to offer would benefit me. My parents will admit they were skeptical at first. An online high school, can you get the same quality education as offered in a traditional setting, they asked. After talking it through, I was encouraged by my parents and grandparents to give it a try because I always want the best for me. The TABS program welcomed me with open arms and made the transferring of schools an easy process. The online setting of this program gave me back my motivation for school. I found a discipline in myself that I didn't know I had to work and study on my own. I also found a new level of confidence in myself. The visual and independent learning style of TABS allowed me the opportunity to achieve better grades and take on new subjects. I challenged myself to take classes that I never would have taken in a traditional school setting. I took psychology, sociology, and I even took an AP class, which I never thought I would do. Somehow, there was less pressure, just me, my laptop, and the online modules, and the knowledge that I had teachers to turn to if I ever needed help. After my first quarter, I knew that this program was the best choice I could have made for myself. Being home a lot more has allowed me to be more connected to my family. As a part of that, I've been able to learn more about my older brother who suffers from a chronic medical condition that keeps him at home a lot too. This has helped me realize the impact that chronic conditions can have on a family as well as the person experiencing it. Realizing the impact of this condition has allowed me to really learn the value of compassion. When I look back on my time at Bella Vista, Chaparral, and Susan H. Nelson, I can clearly see the compassion that I was shown by the teachers and staff. That compassion made it easier to stay motivated and continue working towards my goals. To have teachers that are helpful and encouraging to any student that crossed their paths, 
even if they don't know the silent battle the student may be going through, is truly amazing. Finishing my last two years in a setting that was right for me renewed my interest in higher education. Had I not had an alternative option, I may not have stayed motivated to go to college. For a district to have programs such as TADS, allow students like me that need a change or students that need more flexibility to be able to continue our education in a way that works for us. I commend the Susan H. Nelson School for giving students the chance to thrive in an environment that wants to help them in any way that they can. So thank you to everyone for making this district a place where students are praised, helped, and allowed to make mistakes and grow. To have teachers, aides, administrators, and staff that show compassion to everyone that comes along your path truly makes the Temecula Valley School District a great place to learn. Best of luck to those whose journey in our district is now ending. Please know that the support and encouragement you have shown to students like me has made a great impact in mine and countless other students' lives. Thank you. Thank you, Sadie. We appreciate your thoughtful words. You are an inspiration to all of us, and we are proud of all of your accomplishments. And now it is time to individually honor each of our 2020-2021 TVUSD retirees. Sky Anderson. Sky Anderson has served as a science teacher for 30 years. Mrs. Anderson has worked at Temecula Middle School and Temecula Valley High School. She is currently at Chaparral High School. She has served over 6,000 students during her tenure as a teacher. Mrs. Anderson will be missed. We wish her the best in her new adventures and retirement. Brenda Armstrong. Happy retirement, Brenda. Since joining our team in 2014, you have helped countless students and have been a great resource for our AES school community. I know you can look back on your time at Alamos confident of a job well done. Here's to hoping that you find the same in each adventure you have planned. You will be missed by Team Alamos. Katherine Bamber. Kathy has been a welcome addition to the Vail Elementary School team. She has an unwavering positivity she brings to her class each and every day. Her love for her students and joy of teaching are clear in her interactions both online and in person. We can't wait to hear about her future adventures and her retirement. Jennifer Bartlett. Jennifer Bartlett has taught her entire 27-year career here at Temecula Unified School District. Jennifer is poised, professional, and talented. Her questioning strategies and her ability to facilitate classroom discussions lead students to deeper understanding and able to use their critical thinking skills. Her strong teaching skills will leave a lasting impact on the students she served. Jennifer is one of Abby Ranke's most valued teachers and she will be missed. Happy retirement! Connie Baum. Happy retirement, Connie. Thank you for the spirit of kindness you brought to Alamos. Wishing you all the very best on your retirement. May you have a healthy and happy life with your friends and family. You will be missed by Team Alamos. Carla Beeman. Mrs. Carla Beeman has touched countless lives of the students she has served. She has skillfully and patiently instructed students on mathematical concepts and math practices during her tenure at TMS. She has also been integral in implementing growth mindset practices in the math department. TMS will surely miss Carla. Richard Beeth. Richard Beeth has been an amazing teacher for 26 years. You can only imagine the number of children who have been touched by his unwavering dedication to teaching and learning. He has shared so many of his talents in the classroom. Among them is his musical talents. He truly cares about the whole child and goes above and beyond to meet their needs. Richard Beeth is a cherished member of the Vintage Hills family. We certainly wish him well as he heads into new adventures. Frank Belcher. Frank Belcher has been an amazing teacher for 27 years. He has served 24 of those years in TVUSD. Frank has many gifts that have made a significant impact on not only the students that he taught, but all the students that know him. His ability to make relationships with the students and know them as individuals, along with his strong teaching strategies, have made him one of our most dearly loved and effective teachers. There's not a day that goes by where one does not hear, hey, Mr. Belcher, from previous students. The lifelong skills that the students leave his class with are valuable and will benefit students in the future. Frank, you are truly one of a kind and you will be missed. Happy retirement. Julia Bell. Mrs. Bell loves students and literature. She is a true scholar, a learner, and incredibly inquisitive. 
She is so thoughtful when she works with students and parents and always seeks to understand and support students in their learning. Julia is enjoyed by her colleagues and administration because she always sees more than one side to an idea or decision. We love that she asks questions from an authentic place of wanting to understand. Julia has impeccable integrity and a fine mind. She is a hard worker who always follows through on whatever she says she will do. She is truly a model of collegiality and fraternity. We wish Mrs. Bell a wonderful retirement. Tammy Bergstrom. Tammy, or Mrs. B, as the students referred to her, has been an invaluable support to the Wolfpack Counseling Department at Great Oak. With a job that never seems to be done and each day looking different from the next, Tammy was able to gracefully and effectively get the job done. She was able to master the art of organization and efficiency while still showing genuine compassion and understanding the needs of our staff, students, and parents alike. Tammy will be greatly missed, but will always be a member of the pack. Tammy, we wish you the very best as you begin your retirement. Paul Bishop, known as the Colonel. Colonel Bishop has led the Chaparral High School NJROTC Distinguished Unit for more years than I can remember. He teaches his cadets leadership skills. Then he puts them in leadership roles to practice the skills he's taught them. His methods empower students to become great leaders. He is an ideal educator and he's run a mentor program that has turned out some of the best leaders Chaparral has ever seen. Colonel's retirement is truly the end of a tremendous era for Chaparral High School. Kudos to a job well done. Kathy Boyd. Kathy Boyd has been an outstanding teacher for 35 years. She has served 32 of these years in TVUSD. Kathy's expertise and knowledge along with her amazing skills make her stand out among all educators. When visiting her classroom, not only do you see kids highly engaged and learning, but you see lifelong skills of manners, speaking skills, and self-control in our youngest students. She has high expectations for all students and goes above and beyond for them. Seeing Mrs. Boyd dressing up in costumes to bring letter sounds to life, providing solid, direct instruction along with loving her students will be missed. Kathy, you truly are Teacher of the Year, not only this year, but every year. Happy retirement. Larise Boyd. Larise has been a staple on the Great Oak campus for over a decade as one of the original GO staff members. She served as a BSU advisor and the Every 15 Minutes coordinator. She formed countless relationships amongst students and staff with her outgoing personality and infectious smile. Larissa's love for the students at Great Oak was second to none. She will be missed in the Great Oak community, but she will forever be a part of the Wolfpack family. Thank you, Larissa, for all that you have done over the years to make Great Oak great. Enjoy your well-deserved retirement. Jean Brown. Jean's passion for CTE spans decades of service to our TVUSD students and families. Over the years, we have watched Jean work with our students in the kitchen, creating delicious confections, in the classroom, supporting students with sewing machines, learning realistic life skills, and overseeing students create meals to celebrate our staff. Thank you for all the wonderful memories we have of you working with students to create and design. Jean, you will always be a part of our Wolfpack family, and we wish you all the best in retirement. Lori Buschena. Lori was the type of lead that always handled her site with a level head, and you could always count on her to get things done. I would visit Rancho to see how things were going, and it was always smooth and steady as she goes. Lori was dependable and was always there for the kids of Rancho Elementary School. I was sad that the school was under construction for the last year I got to work with Lori, but as she always did, she saw the bright side of that situation as well. Jennifer Callahan. Jennifer has been with TVUSD for 17 years. As a job coach, Jennifer has established some of the longest standing work sites for the Chaparral Adult Transition Programs. She has a huge heart and has always gone above and beyond for our students, even helping them secure jobs after they graduate. She loves bologna and cheese sandwiches. We would always count on her to set up some of the most creatively beautiful displays and party tables. We wish her the best in retirement as she enjoys her time playing with her grandkids and raising her tortoise. Michelle Callahan. Michelle has served the Lavorna community for the past 16 years. She has played an integral role in supporting students, families, and staff. She is the first smile someone sees when they walk through our doors. 
Her positive energy and humor are woven into the fabric of our school culture. She will truly be missed. Good luck on The Good Life, where every day is Sunday. We hope you enjoy your much-deserved time with your husband, sons, and grandchildren. Deborah Campanini-Jones Debbie Jones started working as a technician for TVUSD when it was still a small district and community. Throughout her amazing career, she worked her way up to a coordinator and then director, but never lost her personal connection with the employees. Many people came through her office door, which was always open, when they needed assistance. She treated everyone with respect and compassion, and many are grateful to her. She contributed much to this district, starting many programs and never turning her back to a challenge. The TVUSD family will miss her. Jean Clement. Jean Clement worked for the district for over 29 years until her retirement in December 2020. As an account clerk three in fiscal services, for the majority of those years, previously coming from a TVUSD site employee, she is best known as the accounts receivable person who collects and processes payments coming into the district. Her pride in her job well done and constant open willingness to train any new school site employee are just some of the ways anyone knew that she was a conscientious, hardworking employee. Jean was not only one of the kindest, thoughtful people you would run across, but she could also sing. She also had amazing rhythm and could dance. Jean shared her beautiful pipes with her church as a member of their chorus. With her annually marked Christmas ornament she handed out each year to all her coworkers, to her tireless work with new employees at sites, her dedication to doing the right thing always shined through. Carlene Cook. Congratulations, Carlene. Thank you for your over 20 years of service to Paba Valley Elementary School and TVUSD. Carlene works tirelessly to ensure the success of her students. She has high expectations for behavior and learning and ensures our pilots don't just fly, they soar. Best wishes to you and enjoy your retirement. You will be missed. Leanne Cornwell. Leanne has been an asset to Vail for 32 years. Her calm and kind demeanor gives her the ability to connect with family, staff, and students. As Vail reopened with new technology and vision, Leanne was one of the first to jump in and implement new ideas. She is loved by all and will truly be missed. Have fun in retirement. Irene Correa. Irene is well loved by all who worked with her. From the start of her TVUSD career in the first five program, to the end of her career in accountability and assessment, she was always very dependable and highly skilled. Her kindness and witty sense of humor brought joy and laughter to those who interacted with her. She was thorough and knowledgeable and will be greatly missed. Enjoy your retirement, Irene. Jerry Coda. Jerry was hired as an instructional assistant for SDC at the newly opening Rancho Elementary School. Since Rancho wasn't quite ready to open, Jerry's class was housed at Temecula Elementary School for the beginning of the school year. After four years of SDC at Rancho, Jerry transferred to an RSPIA position at Sparkman Elementary. In 2008, Jerry was back at TES in SDC, which became her permanent home. As an instructional assistant, Jerry has been described as willing, supportive, and effective. Jerry has always taken initiative and helped the school in any way needed. She has been a valuable resource for communicating with Spanish-speaking families and has developed positive relationships with the students and families she serves. Coworkers appreciate Jerry's sense of humor and genuine care for others. She often goes out of her way to help others, to tell us how it is, or to put a much-needed smile on our faces. Thank you, Jerry, for being a dependable employee and loyal friend for 34 years. We will miss you. Matthew Craven. Forever part of the Golden Bear family, one of the humblest and most genuine people that has been on our campus, as well as one of our TVHS founders. Whenever anyone gets a chance to hang out with Matt, he always makes us laugh, especially Paul McGowan. He has one of the kindest hearts, and we will miss his warmth and wit around the pit. It has been contended that no one person in the history of TVHS has been more influential, respected, and beloved by staff and students alike than Matt. He has developed programs across this campus and beyond from dust and picked up the crumbs left behind by others and built them into works of art. Matt shows every person who is lucky enough to cross his path that they have worth, their ideas matter, and together is better. 
It is said that shoes are made to be filled, but I for one know that that is an impossible task that no one can accomplish. The original Golden Bears set the tone for us to all follow. Matt epitomized being a Golden Bear from day one. Job well done. He is a true friend to so many, and we are all so proud to know him. Gloria Cunningham. Gloria has been a great part of the Vail Elementary team and is always willing to offer assistance whenever it is needed. She has great ability to build relationships with our most difficult students. She has been an integral part of supporting our most at-risk students. Have fun in retirement. Linda DiPolito. Linda DiPolito is a treasure. She has the biggest heart and will always do what is best for students. She serves our special education students and staff, but is also a wealth of information for everyone she works with. Linda truly cares about the success of each child differentiates to meet their needs and helps students to make progress. Her absence will be felt on so many levels, but we wish her nothing but the best in the next chapter of her life. Enjoy your retirement and the next amazing moments in your life. Bedelia Doyle. Bedelia has served the Temecula Elementary School community for over 23 years. She began at TES in 1997 as a bilingual instructional assistant. From the very beginning, Vidalia was a dedicated, hardworking employee. She often went above and beyond the call of duty, extending her help in any way that was needed. She was quick to get to know her students and provide the individualized support they needed. Vidalia's position changed to RSP instructional assistant, but her work ethic and loyalty to TES never wavered. Vidalia has always been willing to learn and grow in her position. She is flexible, positive, and a pleasure to work with. Fidelia, thank you for your many years of service to the community of TES. You have been a positive presence not only for the students, but for the staff as well. You will be missed. Jennifer Dunlap. Ms. Jennifer Dunlap has been an integral part of the TMS Social Studies program for many years. Her commitment to students, families, and colleagues is second to none. She has brightened the lives of students through her lively social studies stories. As she moves on to the next chapter in her life, we know she will continue to enrich the lives of others. Her sense of humor will surely be missed by all at TMS. Melissa Ellis. No one is more passionate about life than Melissa. She pours her heart and soul into teaching and everything she does. She is an inspiration to all. Each student who has crossed her path is forever changed academically, but more importantly, they are better human beings because of her. Melissa will be sorely missed on the Red Hawk campus. Lydia S. Cabedo de Cuellar. Lydia has served the district for almost 18 years as a custodian. She has worked with many of her fellow custodians in a joint effort to provide a clean and safe environment for the staff and students of TVUSD. Lydia, I wish you the best on your next chapter of life and congratulations on your retirement. Sylvia Fenny. Sylvia has been a beacon of positivity and warmth at Vail Elementary School for years. Her ability to handle even the most difficult situations with kindness and composure has been an asset to our team. Her heart for children and staff is second to none. We are sad to see her go, but we know she is going to enjoy every moment of being a grandma. Lori Fingerlin. Lori worked her way up through the ranks of the Nutrition Services Department over her many years of dedicated service. During her time at our schools, she was an invaluable asset to the schools and leads that she worked with until she became the lead herself at Great Oak High School. While at Great Oak, Lori took a struggling program and turned it into a one-of-a-kind operation that has unique venues including a build-your-own burrito bar and a student-operated store that has benefited the school and has provided work and training opportunities for students. Lori is an honest and straightforward person who people love to work alongside with. You could always count on her to give it to you straight and from the heart without a filter. Lori always had the best interest of the student at the center of her heart and it showed. The captain of the Great Oak Kitchen and Cafeteria. Lori's retirement has already been felt on our campus. She lives every day with an excitement and energy that is magnetic. She makes others work harder and strive. Thank you for thinking outside the box and helping to support at-risk students over the years who are not only in need of meals Monday through Friday, but also on Saturdays for intervention and enrichment. 
We couldn't have conceived of that plan five years ago without Lori's support and recognition that sometimes our work happens on Saturdays. Enjoy retirement, Lori. No one deserves it more than you. Olivia Flores. Olivia Flores has been teaching for over 30 years and ends her long career at Margarita Middle School teaching language arts and reading workshop. She has been at MMS for 11 years and in the district since 1989. She is a thoughtful master teacher who has guided many teachers in their journey to become educators. Olivia is a vital part of the Margarita Middle School family and she cares deeply about her students. In retirement, she plans to hike, spend time with grandkids, and garden. She will miss the energy and laughter of her students. Evangelina Garcia. Lena Garcia has been in TVUSD for 28 years. She has been a teacher for 24 of those years. Lena has the biggest heart and she shines in the classroom. Her creativity and out of the box thinking make her classroom a very special place to be. Her students are her pride and joy and she loves each and every one of them like her own. She goes above and beyond to meet the needs of each one. Her classroom is student centered with evidence of student learning all around. To know Lena is to love her. She is one of Abby Ranke's most cherished teachers that has made a difference in so many lives. Lena, you will be greatly missed. Happy retirement. Pamela Gibbs. Pamela Gibbs has been with our district and at Margarita Middle School for 27 years where she taught middle school language arts. She began teaching over 30 years ago in the area at MVHS. Before she was a teacher, she was a professional ballet dancer. She has climbed Mount Whitney and traveled the world. After retirement, she will continue teaching as a substitute in Washington on the Olympic Peninsula and continuing her hobbies of hiking, skiing, and various crafts. She plans to build a house on the lake with an art studio where she can focus on one of her passions, painting. Cheryl Gray. Cheryl has been with Temecula Valley Unified School District for 12 years and will be greatly missed in fiscal services. She was efficient, hardworking, and always willing to help others. Her upbeat attitude made it a pleasure to work with her. I could always count on Cheryl to complete tasks on time. Her many years of experience with budgets, budget reports, and interpersonal skills made her a valued member of the fiscal services team. All of fiscal services congratulates Cheryl on her retirement. I know Cheryl and Tom look forward to traveling to new places. We wish you all the best in this new chapter of life. Diana Connie Herps. Connie's passion for supporting students spanned over a decade. She was willing to help the Great Oak team in any capacity throughout her tenure. Connie worked gracefully supporting some of our most struggling students as an instructional assistant. Her quiet grace, integrity, and student center approach defined her work. She was the IA you could always rely on, regardless of the situation, and she will be greatly missed. Connie, thank you for all that you have done over the years to support our students and staff at Great Oak. You and Kurt will always be beloved members of the Wolfpack family, and we wish you both the best in your retirement. Stephanie Harrington. Stephanie Harrington has been an outstanding teacher for 34 years. She has helped countless children become readers, writers, and mathematicians over the course of her long and rich career. Her dedication to our profession is remarkable. She is a long-standing, admired member of our Vintage Hills family, who truly will be missed. As Stephanie heads into the new adventures that lay ahead, we wish her the very best. Ramona Herney Jones. Ramona has been the cornerstone of Great Oaks World Language Department for over 16 years. She has also been the department chair for most of that time. A true leader, working hard on behalf of her colleagues and students she taught. Ramona, you will be incredibly missed on our campus. Thank you for your vision and instructional prowess. Thank you for your collegiality, kindness, and endless energy. We wish you all the best in retirement. We can live vicariously through your travel and the years to come. Teresa Hezon. Teresa is a gifted educator who has touched the lives of many students over the years. She is humble, kind, and positive all of the time. Her commitment to teaching students to read has been coupled with her desire to build confidence in every one of her students. The lifelong skills that students have learned from Mrs. Hezon will carry them very far in life. Red Hawk will miss Teresa dearly. Karen Hogan. Karen Hogan began her teaching career in 1990 and joined the Temecula Valley Unified School District in 1999. 
During the last 21 years, Karen has dedicated her time, energy, and spirit as a teacher to all. Karen's career-long quest for equality and service to those who need it most is inspiring. Karen has not only influenced years of students, but has also been dedicated to her colleagues. Karen has trained teachers and support staff in everything in special education, and she has also tirelessly served as the union representative for TVEA. Karen has always been counted on to be the person in the room to bring logic, fairness, and a clear understanding of any situation. She has the amazing ability to calm down even the most volatile conflicts. Karen's peers often look to her in difficult situations and find comfort in her guidance. Karen is the real deal, the full package, a crackerjack. She is a true master of her trade. To say she will be missed is an understatement, to say the least. It has been an honor and a privilege to work with Karen and see the impact and transformation she has made on the lives of others, as well as the culture of our school. Tracy Hunt. Mrs. Tracy Hunt was our 2020-2021 Temecula Middle School Classified Employee of the Year. During this unprecedented year, Tracy has been an integral support for all of us. She has prepared us with health and safety protocols, followed up with students, staff, and families regarding their health needs, and made sure all students and families had the resources they needed to stay healthy during this unprecedented time. She always has a can-do attitude. Anytime anyone asks for information or for a task to be completed, no matter how arduous the task or how great the ask, Tracy always rolls up her sleeves and completes it within record time and with a smile. It certainly has been a pleasure to work with Tracy. Congratulations on a job well done. TMS will miss her greatly. Cheryl Kale. Cheryl has a desire to help others that goes far beyond the classroom. She cares deeply about people and will do anything for anybody at any time. She has gifted many students with literacy, but more importantly, she has gifted all of us with her sweet presence each day. What will we do without Cheryl? Cheryl, enjoy your retirement, but don't forget to stop by and visit your Red Hawk family. We will miss you. Donna Kiefer. Donna Kiefer is awesome. She never gives up and always does what she thinks is best. Donna has a generous heart, endlessly devoting hours and hours of her time to every student, while also supporting the needs of herself, her family, her friends, and her colleagues. Donna has not let a minute of her time this last school year go to waste. She is so deserving of this next chapter in life, and we will miss her dearly. Enjoy your retirement and all the blessings it will bring. Tamara Kinney. Tamara Kinney founded and helped grow the school-wide dual enrollment program at Temecula Valley High School. Many students have greatly benefited academically by earning college credit within their high school experience. Mrs. Kinney was always there for students to provide them with educational guidance, but as a true counselor does, she is always prepared to lend a listening ear and provide a place for students to share their hurts. Mrs. Kinney will be missed in our counseling department. It is rumored that Mrs. Kinney may be considering a move to a golfing mecca, yet she does know a few hot golf spots within this region, and I am sure if you are out for a midweek morning golf, you may just happen to see her. Thank you for your service, Mrs. Tammy Kenny. You will be missed. Michael Knight. Michael Knight has been a valued teacher for 23 years. He served 15 years here at Temecula Unified School District. Michael's gentle soul and kind ways have been used to build trust and relationships with his students. His creative thinking and dedication to the students he has served has made a lasting impact on his students. He brings stories to life with his musical talent and brings many smiles to our school. Michael is a love teacher at Abby Ranke Elementary, and he will be greatly missed. Happy retirement! Daniel Kowal Dan has worked as a school bus driver for more than 10 years. He retired this last March. Dan is a hard worker and was always willing to do what needed to be done to serve the students of TVUSD. Dan served his fellow employees as a job steward and helped them to understand the contract and how to be a valuable school bus driver. Happy second retirement, Dan! Shirley Kunkel. Shirley was a Temecula Middle School Bobcat for many years. As our speech and language pathologist, she helped so many of our students over the years. We will miss Shirley's leadership, sense of humor, and vast knowledge of special education and speech pathology. Good luck in retirement. Shirley, you will be missed. Candice Liberté. Five years ago, we were lucky enough to hire Candice Liberté as the health clerk at Vail Ranch Middle School. 
She had been working at Rancho Elementary for many years and was excited to come to the middle school. We could not have chosen a more perfect person to join our family. She fit right in and became a true bulldog. Candace is compassionate, kind, caring, and a true humble individual. She makes every person she encounters feel special and important. Students would come to her office and she always made them the priority and took care of all their needs. Everyone was welcomed. Candace retired in November and her absence has truly been missed. We wish her the best in Texas. We still receive texts and updates on her and her grandchildren, her new focus in life. Daniel Madeira. Dan Madeira has served as a teacher for 36 years. Dan has been a part of the Chaparral Puma family since the school opened. He is an outstanding math teacher at CHS. His expertise in his content area and kind demeanor will always be remembered. He always strives to be a team player and bring value to the department. We wish Mr. Madeira the best in his new journey into retirement. Judy Manapon. Judy is one of the sweetest people you will ever meet and certainly one of the kindest people to ever set foot on the Temecula Valley High School campus. She is also incredibly reliable and always willing to pitch in and help her colleagues and teachers she works with. People within the special education department have said that her handwriting is like true artistry. Even amongst those who have careful penmanship, they are put to shame by her printing. Her handwriting makes them feel like they are back in kindergarten. She is a dream when it comes to organization and filing. She is always keeping our teachers on track and organized so that they can devote their attention to the students they are with. If there was an award for the most well-rounded instructional assistant, Mrs. Manapon would come in first place. You will be missed, Judy, and we are hopeful that you continue to make lasting memories with your husband and family. Maybe there is a trip to the Philippines in the near future, and one that is filled with joy and celebration. Kelly Menzani. Kelly has been an integral part of the Day Middle School staff. She has served the students teaching social studies and science for the past few years. She has always brought a love for flight and flying airplanes to her classroom. I know she will be spending her retirement years enjoying the time to fly and teaching others to fly. One thing that will be missed is her good morning greeting to anyone she sees regardless of the time of day. Donna Maribato. Donna Maribato is a kindergarten pillar at Barnett Elementary School. Her presence on the team and at our school is evident in so many ways. Donna is a strong advocate for her students and our littlest pioneers. She cares about how her students progress and works hard to make sure they learn everything they need to learn over the course of the school year. Donna's love of travel and adventure is taking her on a whole new journey in life that I know we all wish we could be on. Enjoy your retirement and all the good that is yet to come. Tamara McCall. Tamara is a school bus driver for TVUSD. She will retire this June when she completes her service to the district. Tamara transported children with special needs and worked hard to ensure that they were successful. She has a heart for students and will be missed. Enjoy the beach, Tamara. Phil McCullough. Phil's dedication to the students at Great Oak High School and the impact he had on them will truly be missed. Phil was the ultimate perfectionist and would work countless hours making sure every I was dotted and every T was crossed. His car was always the first in the parking lot and would generally be seen on Saturdays while he was putting in extra work to support his students. His passion for student success was highlighted in his daily effort to ensure victories for his students. Students and the team were always first for Phil. Thank you, Phil, for the lasting impact you had on the students and staff at Great Oak. You will always be part of the Wolf Pack. Enjoy retirement, Phil. No one deserves it as much as you. Noelle McPhillips. Noelle began her teaching career in the Pomona Unified School District, where she taught for three years. She then took a 12-year hiatus to raise three children, subbing a few days a month. Noelle's tenure in TVUSD began in 1997, when she was hired at Nicholas Valley and has remained ever since. While at Nicholas, Noelle taught second grade for a year and then in kindergarten the remainder of her career. Noelle shared that she truly feels like Nicholas Valley has been her home away from home. She has met and made some wonderful lifelong friends. Looking ahead into retirement, Noelle plans to be very involved with her grandkids. Anyone who knows Noelle knows she already is, but now she will have even more time with them, which is very exciting. In fact, Noelle just found out that she's going to become a grandma one more time this December. Congratulations. 
Noelle, you have been a big part of the Nicholas family all these years and you will be missed. Go enjoy your retirement and those grandbabies. Luann Mitchell. Luann Mitchell has been an amazing teacher for 33 years. Her career has spanned out over 40 years in three states and six districts. She has served in the Temecula Valley Unified School District for 25 years. Luann's passion and expertise has helped countless children become readers, writers, and mathematicians over the course of her career. Luann strived to always make her classroom student center and was never afraid to learn new strategies. Her ability to facilitate learning was evident each day she taught. Luann is one of Abby Ranke's most beloved teachers and will be missed by all. Happy retirement. Carol Moffitt. As a library assistant at Temecula Middle School, Carol was always helpful, kind, and positive. We'll miss Carol and wish her the best in her retirement. She has provided the school and its students with many years of invaluable service by caring for all the students' and faculty's needs. Her caring and gentle manner, not only for the library, but also towards the students and faculty alike, have been an immense help for all those who seek refuge in the calmness of the TMS library. Congratulations on your retirement. We will miss you. Dorothy Morris. Dorothy Morris has been an icon at Day Middle School. She has been a faithful servant and example to the staff and students of our school. One of her greatest qualities is to connect with students who are a little different or even difficult. She always had a way to make sure all our students felt welcome. There was no student too difficult for her to handle, and she often won them over with her direct but kind approach. Dorothy not only did her job well, she was a tremendous help to our ASB program. She often worked additional hours to run errands, help set up for events, and work in the student store. She loved our school community, and it showed in the way she gave her time and efforts to DMS. Barbara Mueller. Barb Mueller has been a teacher for 28 years. She is passionate about teaching English and working with EL students. Barb's work teaching AP language has created a legacy of students who graduate from Chaparral with college level skills. Her creative lessons and enthusiastic love for learning are evident in her classroom. Barb's dedication to the craft of teaching has been a positive influence in the lives of many students and staff. Chaparral will miss Barb. Cheryl Neff. Cheryl brought humor and warmth to the Great Oak High School attendance team in front office. She improved staff climate with secret pals, survivor pools, and spirit dress-up days. We know that she is already enjoying retirement and time spent as a grandma. Thank you for so many years of thoughtful service, Cheryl. We wish you a long and healthy retirement. Stephen Nilsson. Stephen has served students for so many years and he has continued to give his all even in his last year. He literally helped thousands of students understand pi, diameter, trapezoids, and a whole host of geometric ideas. He cares deeply about kids and is always devising ways to help students understand one of the most difficult courses for your average math student. He has always been a champion of academic intervention and a true golden bear. Stephen will join his wife in retirement as she has retired from TVUSD a few years back. We wish him and his family all the best and look forward to having Stephen swing by and say hello. Once a bear, always a bear. Thank you for your service, Stephen Nielsen. You will be missed. Lori Ordway Peck. Anyone who knows Lori Ordway Peck could tell you that it is unfair that one person holds so many talents. She has a savvy business mind and even taught college level accounting courses, but could also paint you a picture or sew you a stuffed animal that looks like it just came out of an arts and crafts boutique. Mrs. Ordway Peck's career in public education spanned over three decades across many counties. TVUSD was so fortunate to have her finish out her incredible career with us. She has a wicked sense of humor and a deep care for public education and has definitely left her mark on our organization. We wish you a wonderful retirement. Michelle Osinski. Michelle is a passionate lifelong learner, voracious writer and researcher, and has been a true asset to the Love Warna team. She has a passion for preparing fifth graders for middle school and a love for American history. She has truly left a lasting impression on many students over her three decades of teaching many of whom come back to visit the Ozone over and over again. We wish Michelle the best of luck in her new adventures, traveling, visiting her child, and continuing her passion for learning. Cheers to a happy retirement. Jerry Owen. Jerry Owen has been an amazing teacher for over 20 years. 
Her dedication to the students she served was evident when seeing her teach in her classroom. Her generous nature, along with her big heart, made her one of Abby Ranke's dearest teachers. She has made a lasting influence on the students she taught. Jerry's strong teaching skills and kindness shine through and through. Jerry is a treasured member of the Abby Ranke family, and we wish her all the best on the new chapter in her life. Happy retirement. Joanne Paris. Joanne has been a campus supervisor at Chaparral High School for 17 years. Fondly known as Magoo within her inner circle, Joanne has seen it all. As she worked steadfast and true to her cause, Joanne stood strong in the face of challenging moments. We wish her the best in her retirement. Tarvinder Paul. Mrs. Tara Paul is thoughtful about instruction and shows a deep love and care for her students. Tara has a genuine concern and care for her fellow staff members and encourages others during challenging times. We have all had the opportunity to learn about Mrs. Paul and she has been generous in sharing her story and bringing others into her life. She is a very proud mom and wife and I know she will look forward to spending more time with the people she cherishes within her retirement. There is some talk from Tara that she may not be finished with the world of teaching, but we have greatly appreciated her teaching here at Temecula Valley High School and we look forward to learning more about her future journey. The students and staff will dearly miss this very lovely person. Best wishes to you, Mrs. Paul. Tanya Perez. Tanya has been a transportation aide for TVUSD for a little over five years. She worked with many of our special education students, helping them have successful bus rides to and from school. Tanya enjoyed working with students on the bus and will be missed by her students. Enjoy retirement, Tanya. Diana Portillo. Diana Portillo has served our district just shy of 15 years. She has been a dedicated instructional assistant, helping countless students at Chaparral High School all these years. She truly cares for her students and works hard to help them show success. Diana has made a difference at Chaparral. She will be missed by all, and we wish her all the best in her retirement. David Prevo. Dave Prevo has been a talented teacher for 38 years. He has served in TVUSD for 32 years. With his many talents, Dave has touched the lives of many students. His dedication to students, along with his kind nature, make Dave stand out as a true professional and most adored teachers. Dave's work ethic is second to none. Dave works carefully to meet the needs of all of his students. He certainly works hard to build relationships with his students and ensure students are successful. He is an excellent role model and mentor. Dave, you will be missed by all. Happy retirement. Deborah Prevo. Debbie is Day Middle School. She has been a part of the staff since DMS opened. She began as a Dauphin and finished as a Defender. Thousands of students have had the privilege of being under her tender and caring watchful eye during PE. Throughout the years, she has faithfully demonstrated a heart for kids and a love for teaching. Ever the professional, she was often one of the first teachers on campus each morning and one of the last to leave each afternoon. Her retirement leaves a tremendous void at our school, but we know that this next season of life will enable her to spend time with her loved ones. Susan Ramos. There are not many employees who can start and finish their career in special education. It takes a very special individual, and that is Susan Ramos. Susan has worked at VRMS since 1997 when she was the full-time IA for special ed teacher Maureen Nixon. Susan and Maureen were the perfect team, complementing each other, using all their talents for their students' successes. Although Mrs. Nixon retired, we were blessed to have Susan continue in our sixth grade program, working directly with students, supporting them with all their needs. Susan has the ability to build relationships with students, get them to open up to her and make them successful. Susan has formed many friendships with the staff is one of the school's founding members. She is family. We wish Susan the best in her retirement. Sleep in, take care of your family, take care of yourself, and most of all, have fun. Sabrina Rasbend. Congratulations and many warm wishes for a happy retirement, Sabrina. Thank you for all your years of teaching, mentoring, and nurturing the students of Temecula Middle School. You always took the time to listen, encourage, and share, and made a real difference in the lives of the students you taught. Mrs. Rasband was a great social science teacher and a longtime Bobcat. She truly cared about all of her students and will be greatly missed at TMS. Again, 
Congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Susan Robertson. Sue Robertson has a heart for children and it shows in all that she does. For 33 years, educating children has been her life's work. Sue works diligently to meet the needs of all of her students. It is always so exciting to see where her students begin each year and how much they grow, both academically and socially, as a result of Sue's expertise. Sue is a beloved member of our school family and she will be missed. We are so excited for the next chapter in her life. Bonnie Romanowski. Over the years at Gardner Middle School, Bonnie was a one-to-one -one assistant, an assistant in the STEPS class, an SDC classroom assistant, and finally, an SDC RSP assistant going into general education classrooms. As I recall our time working together, I remember that she is a very organized person and kept her work area spotless. She enjoys working with kids, and after a while, she got used to going into the general ed classes, but she really liked being with the kids in the smaller SDC setting the best. She is always there to lend an ear and give helpful advice or words of wisdom from her many years of experience. She made the best mini cheesecakes for our annual 500 building Christmas party. She didn't always stay to enjoy them because she would go home to babysit her granddaughter, Cambry, who is her pride and joy. Whenever Bonnie would tell me stories about Cambry, her face would light up and she would flash the most beautiful smile. I miss seeing her on a daily basis, but I am sure that she is having fun with Cambry, her dogs, and her garden. Carrie Shorak. Carrie Shorak is an exceptional teacher of 23 years. I am always impressed by how she is consistently willing to learn new instructional strategies and technology, and then apply it right away to her teaching, all for the benefit of student learning. Carrie's dedication to her students is fueled by her passion for working with children. We have been so fortunate to have had Carrie as a treasured Vintage Hills family member for her entire career as an educator. We wish her the very best in what lays ahead. Jacqueline Siptroth. Tony Tobin Elementary School congratulates Ms. Jacqueline Siptroth on the beginning of her next adventure. Ms. Siptroth has touched the lives of many students and staff in the course of her career. She has not only supported students academically, she has taught them to celebrate their individual differences. Her high expectations for academics was evidenced in the rigorous lessons she planned and the differentiated support she provided to students. One of the greatest gifts she gave students was building their confidence in being independent thinkers and taking responsibility for their own decisions. Those of us who had the privilege of getting to know her on a personal level would agree that she has imperturbable good humor. Miss Siptroth, you will truly be missed. Sandra Skeeth. Sandra Skeeth has been a teacher for 25 years, but she is much more than just a teacher. She's raised great kids, one of whom now teaches with her at Chaparral. Her heart for students and those she works with is huge. Sandra has been the backbone of care for her department and school, organizing baby showers, book clubs, and bringing people together as more than coworkers. She makes those around her into family. Sandra's dedication to her students is unmatched. She spends hours of her own time helping every student reach their goal of graduation, no matter the obstacles they face. Sandra can never be replaced. She has been an example to all Pumas with her passion, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. She will greatly be missed. Dana Slocum. Dana is one of those people who can make anyone's day brighter. She has a lovely smile, always a kind word, and genuinely takes an interest in others. As a teacher, Dana's special touch reaches out to connect with each student, and the recognition she offers in turn becomes a huge motivator for even better learning. Dana is a terrific teacher, and she has left a positive impact at CHES. Janice Smith. Janice began her teaching career in Corona Norco after working in the business field for 10 years. She was a third grade teacher there for seven years and even earned Outstanding Young Teacher of the Year while in that district. Janice worked to help write the third grade social studies curriculum and loved putting on a dinner theater play for parents on the outdoor stage each year. Janice's tenure in TVUSD began in 1995 at the charter school that was a part of Nicholas Valley campus at that time. In this position, she taught a multi-age K-2 program Two years later, Janice made the transfer to Nicholas Valley and began her journey into kindergarten, where she is also finishing her teaching career. 
While she enjoyed teaching a variety of grade levels, kindergarten has her heart because she gets to witness and be a part of such growth. Janice always looks forward to her class's end of the year play, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, because the children are so proud of themselves. Looking into retirement, you will find Janice working in her garden, doing volunteer work, playing a little golf, and of course, visiting her son who heads off to college this year as well. Janice, you have been a huge part of the Nicholas Valley family and you will be missed. Enjoy your retirement. Darcy Sorensen. Congratulations, Darcy. Darcy has been a valued and appreciated member of the PVES staff for over 20 years. Thank you for your dedication and commitment to our school and district. Darcy has served on numerous site and district committees and is an SST facilitator and kindergarten teacher extraordinaire. Best wishes to you and enjoy your retirement. You will be missed. Maria Soto. Maria Soto joined the French Valley Bases team in the fall of 2015. She was at the site every morning, bright and early to welcome and greet our early arrivals. She was also well liked by our students, parents, and staff. We could always count on her to bring extra fun, minute to win it game plans and the basis favorite, teaching the kids Spanish. She was a great asset to our team and will surely be missed. Connie Taylor. Connie has been a tremendous support for our SDC students and families. Teachers appreciate her integrity and honesty in a variety of situations with students. Her contagious laugh will be missed by all. We wish her all the best in her journey through retirement. Cindy Thomas. Cindy is a team player and keeps a positive perspective through it all. She is focused on student achievement and aware of what it takes to keep students on top of their game. She is appreciated for being approachable and knowledgeable of her grade level content. Cindy's students will likely have memories of this special teacher for a long time. All the best on your retirement. Jeffrey Thompson. Jeff Thompson served TVUSD for 34 years with dedication, loyalty, and honesty, often without any recognition. He loved the district and held high standards for himself and the employees he worked with. His work as warehouse lead was not without frustration. However, he found ways to handle it, such as using the garbage can as a well-used drum set, a memory set in stone for those who witnessed it. Jeff served in the Marine Corps before coming to TVUSD, and he brought with him those same values of commitment, honor, faithfulness, and respect. For all that Jeff has given to the district, and for those who may never have been aware of the assistance he provided, we express our heartfelt appreciation for 34 years of dedicated service. Katherine Vanderhorst. Katie is the staff member every administrator loves to have. She has always been professional and hardworking as a teacher, but never took herself too seriously. She conducted herself with a transparency that enabled people to see the genuine, likable person who had a great affection for her students. Katie devoted time during her day to lead our peer tutoring program so underperforming students could get help from more successful students. That mindset is indicative of the kind of educator Katie has been at DMS, always seeking to support and help people be more confident and enjoy greater success. Raquel Wessel. Rachel started her tenure with TVUSD in October of 2005 as a special education aide at Temecula Elementary. She later moved to a clerk position at the same school for an additional 10 years. Rachel moved over to the district office and has been the first point of contact for the TVUSD Central Enrollment Center, CEC, since its inception. There is no one more fitting to welcome new families to TVUSD than Rachel. She is an integral member of the CEC team and her report with parents and colleagues is second to none. Rachel is generous with her time and knowledge and has a kind spirit that everyone gravitates to. As the CEC bilingual clerk, she has been an amazing resource for families and she is always willing to jump in and help with enrollments or any other task given to support the CEC technicians. We won't say goodbye, but until we meet again, you will be missed as a friend and cherished colleague. We wish you the best of luck as you embark on your retirement. Vanessa Wiranga. Vanessa Wiranga has been a difference maker in the lives of children for the better part of three decades. As a classroom teacher, distinguished teacher in residence, and administrator, you can only imagine how many students, teachers, and families have been touched by this truly special woman. With nine mascots to her name, she has clearly left an indelible mark on our entire TVUSD family. 
What a rich and remarkable career she has had. We are so excited to celebrate Vanessa and we wish her all the best in what is yet to come. As we all know, this has been a year like no other. And today we honor you, not only for the amazing hard work of the past 14 months, but for all of you, the amazing hard work of the past 30 plus years. As you have seen and heard the examples today, we are blessed in TBOSD to have amazing people. From our classified support staff who ensure that our schools are clean and ready, our students are fed and arrive safely to school each morning, and so much more. To our teachers and administrators who ensure the very best teaching and learning is occurring every day. At school typically, but for this past year at home, we are blessed. Students like we heard from today, remind us of our why, our purpose, what gets us out of bed each morning to come back and do it all over again with a smile. Those of you concluding your career in education today, we honor you, we thank you, we will miss you. I went through the list last night of the retirees slowly and I have such fond memories of each of you. Regardless of your future plans, please know that your contributions and your legacies will live on in TVUSD. Just think back to any one of the many, many students and colleagues to know how much you have impacted and are valued. We wish you well in your next journeys, but please know that you will always be a part of the TVUSD family. On behalf of the Governing Board of Education and all of our administrative staff, congratulations and thank you for a job well done. And now without any further delays and in keeping with our ringing in retirement tradition, retirees, Please stand and officially ring in your retirement.